Hey, this is Onesto, and the other day I felt like spending $30 on something, so I bought Spitfire Audio's Media Toolkit. And after playing around with it, I wanted to make this quick review to help you know what you can expect from it. So here's the first thing you should know about this plugin. This library is a set of sounds designed and curated by Paul Thompson, who's one of the co-founders of Spitfire Audio. And this curation is really what you're spending your money on. You're getting access to Paul Thompson's go-to sounds. So on the screen here, you'll see a list of the presets that I grabbed from Spitfire's website. And I put boxes around the ones that I think are just the most valuable, the most versatile, and my personal favorite, to be honest. So let's hear some of them. So this is the acoustic piano that's in here. Yeah, super solid piano there. And I was surprised that there was an acoustic guitar in this. It sounds really nice. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. And one thing you'll notice in this plugin is that there are two reverbs that you can apply to every preset. You have this lush reverb that has, that's a bigger tail, bigger space going on. Here's how that sounds. Bring it to 100 and hear that. Cool. I think it's really clean, uh, more pr pretty bright. And the plate reverb, let's hear that. It's a much shorter tail compared to the Lush. I also think it's a bit darker uh, compared to the Lush reverb there. All right, up next is the Ethereal Pads. I think this is my favorite preset in this plugin. Oh, it sounds so good in the way it opens up and all that good stuff. It's a solid, stinking preset. Next, we have this marimba. Doesn't that sound nice? Uh, there's some like Foley kind of like household items uh, in here. This is a computer keyboard. Let me make sure I'm in the right range. Yeah, it sounds cool and it sounds interesting when you put on the reverb. Now there's one thing about this plugin that I wish were a little different. It is that I, th I think there's just too many Foley and percussion type patches in here. So here is a lash locker, which sounds really good, really detailed. And then as you go on, you get to like plastic hangers. Once again, interesting scissors. Bowls, kitchen bowls. Like, and it's, it's all cool stuff, but then you, but as you go through, you're just like, whoa, this is like a lot, a lot of like percussion, a lot of Foley. And I'll even open this preset menu here. And you can see household hits, kitchen hits, high hits, knocks. Uh, and, and you know, that's, I don't know, maybe half of all the presets in here um, are <clears throat> dedicated to this Foley and percussion uh, kind of sound. And maybe I just don't get it. I don't compose films or soundtracks or what have you. I don't, I don't do any of that. So maybe these kind of sounds are truly valuable and I'm just not appreciating it enough. Um, or maybe it would be better if we can trade in like, I don't know, a, a handful of these sounds for like one or two more solid um, instruments up here. Like a, I can imagine like a, a rose piano or like a really nice like organ or something, something like that, something more versatile like that. But once again, I could be totally wrong, um, but that is just one little critique that I have about this plugin. And before I go on, I have a quick question for you. Should I be making more videos on Spitfire Audio plugins? I'm always curious to know what kind of videos I should be making. So please hit the like button if you want me to make more videos about Spitfire Audio products. Thanks. So as I mentioned earlier, there are 24 presets in this plugin. And at first I was a little bummed out because 24, you know, presets isn't a whole lot for a plugin. However, uh, if you look at something like the acoustic guitar here, in the bottom left-hand corner, you have these three signals. So it's kind of like these different layers, these three sounds. So this one preset has three sounds in it. So we have this clean, soft pad, and hairpin. So let's hear each one separately to kind of show the, just how, how diversity sounds are. So here's clean. Oops, let me turn these guys off first. Here we go, here's clean. Cool. And here's soft pad. Totally different sounds, but that would be really good to layer with. And you have this hairpin here. 
And if you don't know what these things are, if you hover over in the bottom, bottom left, you can read a description about that uh, sound there. So this is kind of like a reverse. Which is also super cool to mess with. So what's great is that you can blend them. So let's say I want less hairpin soft pads right here, clean all the way up, and then you just play around with it. Yeah, that's lovely. And it's just the same thing goes for all the presets in here. There are three different signals to blend between. And I find that helpful because once again, Paul Thompson has curated, here's some, here some solid sounds to layer between. And it kind of takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. If I just want to sketch, play around, make something really beautiful really quickly. So with that in mind, these 24 presets multiply by the three signals. It's kind of like you have 72 sounds in this plugin. All right, so here's my final thoughts about Media Toolkit. At $29 US, there's some gorgeous sounds in here, but it's funny because even though it's only $29, it still feels expensive for what you're receiving from them. But then again, that's Spitfire for you. Everything they release sounds expensive because it is expensive even at $29. What I find most valuable about this plugin are some of those presets that I demoed earlier, like the guitar, the pads, and the marimba. I still wish I could trade in some of the Foley sounds for one or two more solid instruments, uh, like a electric guitar or, or some more pads. Overall, I don't think I can say this is one of those libraries that you got to go out and get immediately. Um, like I said, there's some really good sounds in here, um, and hopefully my review has done a good enough job to help you figure out if this is right for you. So if you like what you hear and you've been itching to drop $29 on a plugin, uh, then go ahead and click the link down in the description. And that's my review on Media Toolkit from Spitfire Audio. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please consider liking this video so other music makers can find it. Later.